How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy OB Wit. I'm with television. How y'all doing tonight, this morning, this evening, wherever got time you guys decide to watch this video? How y'all feeling today? <laughs> the most slept on team in the NFL. We're proving ourselves time and time again. Time and time again. Uh, we still don't get the respect. Um, played a great game against the Cowboys. I mean, the score may not reflect. Uh, but we was going against uh, a decent defense. I ain't gonna say defense, a good defense. Hack of a D line. With Lawrence and um, Parsons. A good linebacker core. Good corners. Uh, I think we did it. We played a solid game. Even though a lot of people, especially Cowboy fans, tell me, yeah, we shut down D, but we shut down. Yeah, it wasn't a game to win. Um, unfortunately, uh, Tony Pollard got hurt and you know, changed the game plan for the Cowboys. But we're not on the Cowboys. <laughs> we're not on them. We're on the Philadelphia Eagles, the number one seed in the NFL, the second ranked defense. But the biggest key in that defense is what? The 21st ranked run stop defense. Um, so I really believe in this game, it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of carries. I'm activating all running backs. <laughs> I read one comment saying that uh, it's going to be like the, the commanders on steroids. Uh, the commanders really gave the group the blueprint to, uh, I'm going to say, neutralize the defense of the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, but that it's still not gonna make it easy because they automatically going to assume we're coming out just to run the ball all game. Um, they got a good offense. Um, they got a good quarterback. But these two play in college against each other: Oklahoma, and Ohio State. I said Ohio State. I apologize. Iowa State. Um, 41-42. Brock outplayed them that game. Wait, Brock. Loss. So Brock, did you get back? Let's get him back. Uh, they got good receivers, uh, especially AJ Brown. Uh, so go get him. I uh, got decent tight ends. You got okay run game. Uh, we the number one run run stop defense. Two. And we high ranked <laughs> when it comes to running. Last time we allowed 100 yards for Russians in October. So I'm really looking forward to this game, even though it's played in Philadelphia, played in Philly. Uh, you know, it's tough out there to play on the road, and you can kind of play off game on care how good you are. Uh, we go on the road, but you know the 49 favor going to travel anywhere we go. So um, look for this to be a good game. Look for this to be. Uh, a, 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 far, a, a hard fork game as you can see that Christian McCaffrey up there him, Elijah Mitchell even Debo in the backfield um, they gotta show up they have to show up um, we really need to get ahead of these guys quick, fast, and in a hurry um, be explosive Especially our defense got to, we got to get these rush lanes closed. And we can't have um, Jalen Hurts out here just running free. We can't have that happen. Get our hands on him, get him down. We can't let him go. We can't let him get outside the pocket. We got to keep him in the pocket. Uh, let that pocket collapse on him. He cannot get out there and start rolling around doing all this craziness. We got to watch out for the read option. You know that's coming. Um. I'm not 100. percent It is with his shoulder, but I was uh, I, I I saw something saying that he wasn't his shoulder wasn't 100. percent I'm not banking on anyone to get injured, but we gotta let him feel us. <laughs> we gotta let him feel us. Um, I know they talking about Christian McCaffrey was day to day with his calf. Uh, Elijah Mitchell his groin. Uh, I know they say something about Debo, but Debo fine. But everybody gonna play. Amanda who? You know, he got his domestic violence situation, but 
he's expected to play as well. Um, you know, we can't have them bullheaded plays on or off the field. Um, but it's go time, man. We'll be four quarters away from the Super Bowl. We was in the same position last year. Um, I feel like we got a better team. And the same team, really. It's quarterback different. Uh, running back, you know, added on to another running back. Uh, got new safeties back there. Got a new nickel. Uh, but it's pretty much the same team. Uh, so we got to go out there and win ball game. We got to go out there and win the ball game. From first quarter to fourth quarter. I don't want to be in the same situation with the Cowboys. I don't want to have, you know, us up by seven. They get the ball back in 30 seconds. Like, Elijah Mitchell, get out of bounds. I, I, I don't understand why he did that. I don't know why he got out of bounds. Stay in bounds. Fall to the ground. Game over. Eric Ornstead. That was a safety, but I understand the situation. You don't want to take a hit and then get rough in the pass to give 15 extra yards. Um, but we had to go out there and win this, man. We got to win this from start to finish. We need to win it now. Um, I really feel like Kittle and the run game is really going to have a feel that. We're really going to have a good a good game. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, you going to have a good game as well. Um, I, 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 really feel, I really feel good about this game. I really do, man. Um, but Philly not sleep on. I'm not sleeping on Philly at all. I really Philly is a good team. They just, they ready up for a reason, as well as us. Um, one thing I know they're gonna try to do is rattle Brock pretty early. A good thing about Brock, man, he just he's very he's very calm in any situation. Uh, I know I know Shanahan's gonna protect him, so to make him to not have to do too much, just do enough. Um, I'm looking to see Christian McCaffrey do slip screens, all these screens and all that stuff. Him, Elijah Mitchell, Debo, Kittle, Brandon Ayuk, everybody. I'm looking for that to come about because all they're doing is pass rush. So they have fast line, screens, draws, and things of that nature. Um, I really feel like that could be a, uh, you know, a stunner. Um, but we got to go in there and win this, man. We got to go in there and hit them quick. Him in the mouth early. Get up on them early. We can't be trailing or be in the same boat with these guys coming to the fourth quarter. Uh, we got to neutralize uh, Jalen Hurts. Really take him out his game. That's the biggest key. Get him out his game. The biggest threats on offense is Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown. Not to shoot anybody down, but those are the biggest threats I see. And we need to neutralize Jalen Hurts. That would kill everything. It's almost like boxing. You know, kill, the, uh, kill the head, the body would die. Uh, so we got to take him out the pitch up early. Uh, defensive, defensively, you know, they got great corners, uh, a good line. But the one thing I really feel like the weakness is, is uh, the linebackers. Uh, so, like I said, Kittle going to have a good game, should use check. Those guys that's, you know, coming up the seams and Jawan, oh, Jawan Jones should have a decent game, but it's like, we really got to go in there and hit them quick. We really got to go in there and just play 49 football. That's it. Don't go off script. Don't don't change. Don't really play 49 football. Stick with what works. Um, it's a first-year coach. Um, you know, hey, I, I hope he can adjust. We got a mastermind with Kyle Shanahan. So it's like we got we got all the tools. We got everything. We I mean, a lot of people would say y'all don't have a quarterback, but brought the same at the last seven games the same as Jalen Hurts, seven and up. So it's like you know we got to continue doing what we do. Just another day, just another game. You know, like I said, it's four quarters away from the Super Bowl. Now, <laughs> I'm just ready for the game, man. I'm, I'm really ready for the game. I'm super excited for the game. Um, yeah, you know what? I ain't hold y'all too long. But yeah, let me know how y'all feel about the game. Let me know what y'all think about the game. Let me know what y'all predictions are. Um, I know I get I get a lot of questions asked, especially at work, talking about quarterback situation. Like I said in the last video, I ain't gonna spend too much on that. But it is what it is at quarterback. Um, we got a team now. We'll be talking about this year. It's one game at a time. Um, but I look forward to this game come Sunday. 3 o'clock Eastern. So make sure y'all tune in. And like I said, man, I'm not going to hold you guys too long. Uh, the main thing is I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like, share, comment, uh, subscribe. <laughs> I 
really appreciate you guys. My new subscribe, old subscribe, my favorite subscribe. So I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure y'all tune in, man. Like I said, I'm dropping videos every Wednesday. Uh, I'm actually on a podcast called Speak as Well. Um, it's a new channel, so you holler at me. Uh, like I said, I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be out. You know, you know. You know, you know. You know, you know.